The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The hardest thing I've ever endured is the prayer of righteous men to tear me down if it's not of God. And what it did is it elevated and grew me in a rapid, rapid, rapid succession over the last few years. Because I just surrendered, not because I was powerful, just because I knew what hell was like and I never wanted to go back. So I'm like, okay, well, I can't quit moving. I can't quit believing. Even if we don't have money, even if we don't have food, even if we don't have a house, Jesus is still king. God is still good. We're still moving forward. Who gives a shit about anything else? I've ate shit my whole life. I was in hell my whole life. I'm not going back. Regardless, this is nothing. This ain't nothing. Listen, and you, until you plug a bullet hole with your own finger. Listen, and that ain't shit compared to being stabbed. Stabbed hurts way worse than a gunshot. This, nothing in this life has been that bad. Nothing. I remember having to pull my, my, teeth, my lip over my teeth. I've got a scar right here. You can't see it. That's why I have a beard. I had to pull my, my lip off of my teeth because my teeth had gone, four teeth had gone completely through it. And my nose, you could see where the cartilage comes together with the bone because they kept hitting me with the face with a fucking baseball bat. I got thrown, y'all remember when we were walking that game? I said, hey, I got thrown off of that and jumped one time when I was a kid by four dudes with bats. Nothing's been that hard on this side of it. Y'all remember, y'all ever take a beating, a good beating? Yeah. Has anything been that hard on this side of things? You, you remember what it felt like to get whooped by that one dude? I don't know if y'all had like that real pride check. It made you quit, like kind of not want to leave the house for a little bit because you're, you're afraid he might get you again. Let's be real, bro. I've had one of those. Like, I don't ever want that dude. I don't ever want it. And I, I was the cocky one. I should not have been. It was a little skinny cowboy dude. He whooped the shit out of me. I'm talking bad. Like, he enjoyed it. Enjoyed it bad. I think he might have even taken a smoke break halfway through it. I was kind of disoriented. I don't know. It, was like, it seemed like it lasted forever. There's nothing like that on this side of things. It's just me, me, me getting past my idea of what life is. Me getting past my, my opinion of what this walk should look like. That's the hardest thing I run into. My surrender to temporary things whenever there's this, this all-surpassing joy in front of us. But every once in a while, a man has such a breakthrough that he shares his pain at a meeting. Man, it makes it worth it. Whenever a guy says, I want to be baptized, I just need to know what it means. And I'm like, and I always caution, I'm like, it ain't magic sauce, it's gonna get hard, but it's gonna be worth it. It's the, most scary, the scariest thing that's happened to me on this side is that breakthrough that I have with this three little, little girl, I love her more than anything in this world, and I've never allowed anybody into that place, and it's the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to me, that's my truth. It is the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to me in my life. But it's a place where God was drawing me into being his son. And listen, I believe in that he's going to magnify my ability to love all of humanity because he wants me to have that for everyone. And that's scary. Teach me your ways, oh God. The path has been made straight. He gives us something to set our hope on. His plan for us is peace and not evil. Can I get past myself to enter into that place? That's got to be the question. Can I get past that point to enter into this place where he's already made a way for me to be? I just have to get past me. That's what I gotta surrender my idea, my mind, moment by moment. You're gonna have to listen, I promise you, you fight for it moment by moment and it gets easier, there'll be longer spans of time. It'll get better, it never gets easier. Because you're called. There's an anointing on your life. There's been a target on your back since birth. It's, it didn't get bigger. Listen, yours didn't get bigger. It's always been there. So it's never going to go away now that you're operating in the ways of the kingdom. But all he can do is get you to convince yourself that you are above something else. Your lust is above your desire to be a disciple, your opinion is greater than the men laying down their life for you to grow in this place. Uh, all, you know, keep going, magnify that, roll it out however you want. That's the only thing you can do. You are your enemy. You just got, he wants you to yoke up with him in it. Because he's defeated, cut off withering branch.
we have a hope. It's been given. We were born on this side of the covenant. Thank you, Jesus. Now we can walk fully realized with not only power, but authority. Exercio and dunamis, right? See, that's the difference between us and him. Whenever that happened, when the cross happened and the veil was torn and it was finished, what happened is that now Jesus not only has power, but authority. Whereas now the enemy just has power. Now you have power and authority. You have the son, which gives you authority. The image of Jesus gives you authority on behalf of God. It makes you his signet ring, his son, a co-heir. And then the Holy Spirit empowers you. So you move in both. And the key is love. Read the definition. Is it 2 Corinthians or 1 Corinthians? 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through like 10. Listen, read it. That's the character. If you can surrender in every aspect of what that is, then you reflect the image of Jesus. Get rid of your idea. Get rid of your opinion of it. And everyone else, you walk in that image, then you have not only the authority, but the power. And you will see miracles, signs, and wonders. Because that love, joy, peace, patience is a fruit of the spirit. That means you're operating fully in the spirit. The one is for everyone else. Everything, the rest of it's for you. Joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control. The love is which, that's the power. <sighs> Father God, thank you for, thank you for Thursdays. Thank you for Thursdays. I just ask you to continue to move, Lord God. Move on us. Show us. Show us how good you are, Lord God. Beyond our own pressures, our own stressors, and our own flesh, Lord God, show us your goodness today. Reveal to us, Lord God, the character that you've implanted in us, Lord God. Let us see the reflection that you intend for us to be. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Yeah. So.